Okay, once again, I want to thank everyone for this rapid fire collective activity that we had this morning. The DTAP core group wants to extend again our deep heartfelt thank you to all of you for your heart and soul and work this weekend in writing it out and creating this vision and the transparency of the process. Of course, it's never perfect. We understand that. This is very fragile. It's like a, a young, tender, newborn thing that's coming to life and taking shape. It requires patience and compromise and a joint effort to see it through. And the process requires each one of us coming together and working authentically together. And it takes time. This is an evolution, but what we've done is an incredible start here. We had 111 people apply to be a part of this, which means 70 people didn't make the cut. The people here did. So from a starting point, out of the gate, you are incredibly unique people as individuals and you are accountable. Each one of you as an individual has become part of this collective group. And we're not the only people doing this work, interested in doing this work. There are others out there and we all know how high the stakes are and how important it is to us that we make this happen, right? We all want to see something at a national level, something take shape and be born. We want to reflect on the group report outs that we just saw. They were very well done. And we need to think critically on what works and what doesn't work. And it's okay if something didn't quite feel right and needs some revision and some tweaking. Sometimes there's a big idea that's a great idea, but it needs to be broken down into achievable steps. Otherwise, it's just too overwhelming, and then it doesn't happen, right? And that's human nature. That's okay. We acknowledge that. And we can turn failure into an opportunity for improvement, to continue to make process on this journey together. So failure is not the right word. It means we learn, we get up, we try again, and we move forward together. So should we now talk about the different categories? We have six groups uh, that will become consolidated. Some of the groups have common themes, and those can be consolidated into one group. If a group becomes too big, we might want to divide that into two groups. So right now, how many do we have? Five, OK. We had six, we are now turning that into five groups for continued brainstorming. Patty, I'd like to turn it over to Patty now to be our note taker. While Patty is scribing, the DTAP team will talk to you about the observations that they've made. I'm the facilitator, they're the informants. I'm trying to manage so many spinning plates here. One working group is about research and identification of resources. And then the next is a working group looking at creation of a database. And then we have the uh, BFA track, data and research. 
a playwright retreat, PTT, Pro Tactile Theater, research to identify resources, different companies, businesses, whether it be restaurants, coffee shops, and the like, to generate a list of potential allies, resources in the community that currently exist so that we can capitalize on that opportunity, so a group to do that work. The degree track, data research, playwriting retreat, and uh, the PTT, Pro Tactile Theater Group. So would you like to share your thoughts and observations? Ethan speaking. <coughs> I would like to emphasize some of the things that Alexandria mentioned. Uh, I'll just pause for a moment, a technical pause, just a moment. Again, I'd like to emphasize what Alexandra mentioned about how fragile this is. This weekend for me has been a collection or collage of so many things in general. There have been several previous convenings. This time feels different than any of the other ones that I've attended. I see deadlines being put in place. I see the beginnings of collaboration and consortium building on a national level, unlike I'd seen at previous convenings. Excuse my French, but this is a big fucking step. We're on the road. We're on the path. Looking back at the history of deaf theater, it's always been individualized. There have been incidents or moments or individuals who've made steps forward or made progress to work with the system. And it's been individuals, uh, highlights. But there hasn't been something that's been as collective as this, something revolutionary, innovative. You know, and there are individuals who stand out over these last 50 years or so, and we know each other. But I see this is so different that this is a step, a historical moment that we'll look back on, and that this day is the day that deaf theater history's game changed. So don't let the other peripheral things distract you. Keep your eyes on the prize, stay focused, forward moving. Yeah, there are going to be hiccups, but don't give up. The worst thing to do is to give up. Think about the future generations and don't give up, especially in behalf of them. Raise it to the next level, the national level. Keep working. Again, this is all new for us, but keep in mind that when you leave here today, this is a game changer. Thank you, Ethan. I'm Ty. Exactly what Ethan said, I was there back in the last con uh, convene that we had at the Kennedy Center. We were at the conference, I was there. That was the first group when we first set up the Aaron Kuby, National Theater for the Deaf. He was basically the founder of that and set that up. And while I was there, you know, we were thinking about among our own little group that we were working with, and we figured that, you know, at the last minute we'd put this thing together and create this room. And I think that the lunches that we had, what else was done? Monique, Monique was there. So we, we spoke among ourselves, several of us. And, uh, you know, we had a lot of complaints at that time. That was back in 2010 when we met together again, and the same thing happened. So recently in 2016, it was the first time where we started to really check in to see what it was that we can do that would lead to what's happening today. Instead of just talking about it, we actually did it. But at that time, we didn't focus on it. So we acknowledged that. And now we're finding solutions for how we failed in the past. 
And so I want to thank all of you. And I would also like to thank all of the other people who didn't apply for this and many of those who did apply. And then there were many of those that didn't know about this and wasn't able to get their application. So there's a lot of resources still out there, even though they're not present today. Okay, and we're looking forward to working with everyone, even those that are not here. Okay, so keep that in mind. The resources are there. Oh my. I'm Rachel. This is a really big honor to be here. I've been watching all of your presentations. <coughs> and I saw huge visions and dreams. And in those dreams, I see some strategy being developed too. I see the start of some planning and some action in those dreams. And for me, I think about where the need is. And I'll say, we, I'm gonna use that term. We're here. It's great that we're here, and I'm honored to be here with us, to be a part of this deaf theater movement. I'm here with you, I'm behind you, I'm as an ally. What plan do we need? What do we need to do? What's the next step for us? How do we take the dream home with us? How do we keep it in our mind, in our heart, in, sub, in a substantive way? So start thinking strategically with action items and action steps. Consider all of these items here and try. We're going to assist you in keeping your working groups focused. The DTAPS team will. We're here to support the forward movement of your action work. We're here to help you manifest some of those dreams. We're the supporters. And if there is a need for change for the direction of the group, let us know. We're more than happy to respond to that. Just keep us informed. This is so exciting. This is day one. This is the beginning of change right here, right now, with all of us and all those other individuals who are not necessarily in the room, they're standing by as well. The time is now. I'm DJ. We need all of you, every one of you. And after this is over, I want you to think about what it is that you can do. If you're thinking to yourselves, what is it that I can do? We can help, we can help each other. We're, we can develop a Facebook group. We can text whatever mode of communication, whatever system that works. We'll keep this dialogue going, okay, and keep this group together. And for as long as we believe in this system, you know, this is the time for our system to take place, to evolve our own ecosystem for that. This is our own, our time. Our time.